I've been a huge fan of Marvel Cinematic Universe since I was 14, I think, which is 12 years, 13 years ago. Uh, I think that's the first time when I actually got to go to cinema by myself without my family, parents, etc. Uh, because of Guardians of the Galaxy, because that movie made me feel like I will belong somewhere and being able to participate in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 uh, and playing Cosmo has been the best thing that I can dream of. To find the right voice for Cosmo was, let's see which register, I'm not sure, is that right way to say it in English? Um, Tonally, is it going to be a deeper voice? Is it going to be a higher voice? Is it going to be something in the middle? Because um, she's a prototype of the first dog that has been sent to the Cosmos to the moon called Laika. Um, and thinking about it, thinking about what's her personality, because judging by myself personally, I have periods of times where I'm speaking with a lower voice and I have periods of times where I'm excited and my voice calls high. So she had the variety of... Um, Tonals, um, I think, um, to to feel in the moment of of the things that she's going through. But I think somewhere in the middle was the right place to be because we don't know how old she's been when she's been sent there, and she kind of remained the same age. So she's experienced, but at the same time, she might be just two, three, four years old. James Gunn had been uh, with me every step on the way in this movie, um, guiding me and making me feel safe and making me feel protected and heard and made me a collaborator of this movie, which is incredible because we as actors always desire to have a voice, to have a thought that can be heard and seen. Um, and he is capable of doing that, which makes you more open and willing to share and improvise more because that's where great things can happen. You open up, try something and then He's guiding you to the best direction. Um, so we did have lots of conversation and I got to spend a lot of time there wearing a mock-up suit and just staying over hours and watching all of these people and watching how this whole machine is working. James taught me a lot of lessons and some of the most important lessons are even beyond acting and beyond the movie as art, the movie industry as art industry or just entertainment industry. It's about existing and about it's about human beings it's about being a good person and being around good people